Armed with audacity and intellectual forged in faith and science, Georges Lemaitre was ready to challenge the world. In 1927, two years before Edwin Hubble's famous discovery, Lemaitre published an article in a little circulated Belgian journal that held the key to the modern cosmos. In its pages, he not only mathematically demonstrated that the universe was expanding using Einstein's own equations, but he even calculated the rate of this expansion, a value we now know as the Hubble constant. His theory proposed a radical origin, a singular point, an incredibly dense and hot primordial atom or cosmic egg that contained all the matter and energy of the universe. But the scientific world wasn't ready to listen. His moment of truth came at the prestigious Solvay Conference, where he had the opportunity to present his ideas to Albert Einstein himself. The physics titan's response was swift and famous, your calculations are correct, but your physics is abominable. Being dismissed by the most famous scientist on the planet would have stopped anyone, but not La Metra. Vindication, however, was written in the stars. In 1929, Edwin Hubble published his spectroscopic observations that demonstrated, beyond any doubt, that galaxies were moving away from us, confirming the expansion of the universe that La Metra had predicted. The Belgian priest's work was quickly unearthed, translated, and recognized. Suddenly, his abominable physics had become the most accurate description of reality. The humble pioneer who had worked in relative obscurity had achieved the unthinkable, he had overthrown the age-old idea of a static universe and given it a dynamic history and an explosive beginning. The concept of the Big Bang had been born, even if it didn't yet bear that name.